Our train furnace stopped giving heat on Christmas Eve. So I opened it up and I found this light here blinking four flashes in the middle of its turn on sequence. The cryptic four flashes means open device limit. If you look online, there's all kinds of, of possibilities. So I'll press this. A motor will start to create a draft. It'll then go ahead and turn on the igniter. Once the igniter gr glows, then the gas valve will turn on to allow gas in there. That'll ignite the flame. Um, once the flame's ignited, the flame sensor will say, hey, we have a good flame. We'll communicate to the computer that yes, we have a good flame. And then uh, after it heats up for a bit, uh, the blower motor will start and we should be getting heat. So I just started going through the obvious things on the furnace. First thing was to check, make sure the air filter was, was not dirty, make sure it wasn't clogged, because that can stop up furnace from giving heat. That was fine. All right, so I had to take this cover off. There are two screws down here, and there are screws on either corner right here that I had to take those off so I could bend this down a bit so I could get access to each of those screws. And then after I did that with some using a pry bar here on the, on the corner, and it kind of pop that off and, and it pulls right out like that. Next thing was to make sure that the igniter was glowing because sometimes the igniter goes out and then you're not obviously not going to get an ignition to your heat source, your gas. So now we can give it a test here. We'll turn it on, hold that closed. So it thinks the panels are on there, that's what I did. And then we're just gonna go ahead and wait to see if the uh, igniter ignites. And it takes a little bit for it to turn on. That's the igniter there in the back. Great, so the motor started. Now we wait Let's see if the igniter ignites. So I checked on that and that was okay. Get a flame and then that's that. So now we'll look at that guy there in the back. The next thing was uh, sometimes the four flashes can signify a flame sensor that's no good. That right there. I'm pointing to, that's the flame sensor, and I'm going to go ahead and see if we can clean that up, because sometimes those get dirty. Okay. Take that screw right there off. Okay. in it so you gotta, gotta find a way out all right so there's our flame sensor and it's pretty pretty gross so we'll go ahead and clean it up so i'm just taking a little bit of sandpaper trying to clean up some of those carbon deposits and we're going to see just clean this up real nice and put it back and see if that is the issue now if this doesn't work, getting new ones of these are pretty, they're super inexpensive. We'll, we'll have a link in the description below for an Amazon buy. Probably be worth having these on hand because today's Christmas Eve. And guess who's not open anywhere? So having a part like this on hand would be really, really nice. Just for days like this when you got a problem. Same thing with igniters. It'd be good to have an igniter on hand, a spare igniter, because if it's not the flame sensor, it's probably the igniter. You can see how it sits this way. So when I put it in, it's going to be an angle. So it sits in front of that flame. Okay, so I'm going to feed that in through that hole. Oh, 
Of course, the temperatures today are in the single digits. So when this happens, it's more than painful. And that's why it's a good idea to have parts on hand, extra parts on hand, because they're so inexpensive and they'll save you a lot of heartache. And so there it is. There we go. Electrical connection on. Let's see if that helps. I took out the old flame sensor and pulled another one out of my furnace I'm not using. And so they're both trained, so we're gonna see if that is the fix. We had to finally get an HVAC company to come and look at it. When it was all said and done, it turned out to be a problem up here with the Nest thermostat. And the only reason the technician knew about this was that he had gone and had similar problems with other trains, furnaces with their Nest. They always thought it was the circuit board and they were replacing whole circuit boards and still having the issue. And so eventually they had traced it down to this wiring setup and that, and I, I'm not really sure what it was, but something like that was wrong and that's how they ended up fixing this. But when you have an issue with a furnace, you, the obvious ones are, are always the ones to go and look at first. The filter, the igniter, the flame sensor. And then if it's beyond that, Maybe might just be forced like we were to call a repair guy. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots more videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.